Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a post request and a get request using Ajax to, to ping a PHP backend. Now, this can be done actually on any sort of um, server, like any sort of REST API that you set up. I'll get into what I'm talking about in a second. Um, this was re a requested video, so I figured it'd be great to make. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to be doing this in PHP, and I'll be working off MAMP, which is Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So you'll need to have that installed. So I'm just going to start by, if you look at my screen, I'll open up MAMP. Um, it's going to start up the server and get things started. Uh, my MAMP will sit on uh, port 9000. Yours will, by default, I believe, sits on port 8888, um, 8888. But uh, I've changed mine because that's just a really popular port. I also all, I also have these two links um, in the description. The first one is the API for jQuery. The reason why, so as you can see, port 9000. Um, the API for jQuery here, and this is what an Ajax request looks like. Um, and then I also have the W3 schools. I prefer, I'd rather go with uh, follow these, but uh, here's an example of that as well. Uh, as you can see, you're passing data here. Um, you get back data and the status, and I'll show you how to do all that. So since my MAMP has started, I'm going I'm to open up a new folder. So I'm going to just open up, uh, go into my applications, and then MAMP. And then if I go to htdocs, this is where all my files are. Typically, you actually, I don't actually open, I need to save. Um, so applications, MAMP, htdocs. I'm going to create a new folder called Ajax, and I'm going to call this index.php, um, so it goes to the root. And I'm just going to type in hello world and save that, so I can know everything's working. I'm going to open up localhost, 9000. So what I actually do is, um, often I have more than one um, type of thing in my map, in my map folder, so I, I just I put everything into a subfolder. So instead of sit, it's sitting on port, port localhost 9000, it's actually sitting on localhost 9000 slash ajax. Anyway, so there's the hello world, so we know this is working. So we're gonna have to do a couple things. We're gonna have to add, our, um, add jQuery, and we're gonna have to set up our endpoint. So first thing we're gonna do is, we're just gonna create a, a, our post response. So for example, this would be um, users.php, just the, the example of the name. And all it is is, um, we're getting some sort of parameter, so um, let's say name, and it comes with name um, if name is empty I'm actually going to create a function here um, or I guess it'd be uh, just say error or something like that and what it would conclude is the message and this would return JSON uh, and we're going to encode a response and I guess um, was called response and a response. We have to actually create it. And we'll just do this success and that will result in a false and message and that will result in a true. Um, sorry, this will result in the message being passed in. And so to test that we're actually gonna um, not pass anything in and I just want to verify it works. So echo Let's say echo success. So if it, we see the echo, then we know um, something has gone wrong. And we call our message and we say um, error no name. So this is just type checking typically you do with a uh, endpoint. And if I go to um, users.php, um, I get I get a JSON response uh, stringified um, with our proper error message. So we know our error message is actually working. Um, I guess if we, we can keep adding different uh, parameters, but we don't really need to. Uh, essentially, then we just need to add the response, which would be array, and then um, I want to. Yeah, we'll do we'll do it like this as well. Uh, no, we'll, we'll do uh, the following: um, the array, and then success. The the call has worked. So you'd actually put work in here. We don't actually have a variable called message, but we'll create one. 
I'm just creating a nice message of the uh, string concatenate, and then and this just stringifies the uh, JSON or, or object so that it matches the JSON response. And again, um, we actually can't test this one, but if we um, comment this out and we just do name, you put your name in there, it should return a proper message. Save. Go back to users.php. Okay, so we know that kind of works. Um, we still, you know, we don't know it works 100%, but we'll see. Um, so just delete that and uncomment this stuff. So that, that's our post request. Our get request list will be pretty much the same thing. Um, I actually, I'm not going to show you the get request right away because I'll just change this post request to, to do the get request. So our HTML page now, this is the index.html, uh, and we're going to have to do a couple things. Um, we'll just, um, we're just adding our tags, and then we're just going to add a button, and we're going to give it an ID, for example, and uh, I, I don't know, create button, we'll call it, and create new user. We'll put an input box. I'll make a text, and we'll say ID create text box. And the last thing we have to do is actually add um, jQuery and a, I guess a JavaScript file as well. Um, so I don't. There's not a lot of spots that really matter, but if you go to um, here at W3 Schools, jQuery and the Get Started. There's a couple ways to download jQuery. Easiest one is downloading this one. Just paste it in here, and then you want to add another script, and we're going to create another JavaScript file. We're going to call it. Uh, I'm just doing dot slash because I, I the root of my folder is actually one in, so I'm just doing dot slash because it's, so it's an absolute path, um, and oh, sorry, relative path, and our file will be called uh, actions.js. I'm just making this all up. And of course, that, that file doesn't exist, so we got to create actions.js. Um, following jQuery, so we want to say oh, when the page loads. Um, uh, we want to handle the on click button action. So this is our ID. With jQuery, it's the start represent an ID button. And so our button is clicked. Uh, let's actually just test that out to verify everything set up properly. I'm literally just typing out alert. Um, so switch back to your internet browser, refresh the page. You should now see this. If you click this, you should get an alert. Perfect. Um, the next thing we're just going to test out is getting the value from the text box. Uh, I think in jQuery it's, so we'll start with var, and uh, we'll call it name. And I think it's the following, if I remember jQuery cor correctly. Uh, so again, and then it's val. And we'll just, instead of alert, we'll put the name in there. And we'll refresh the page and we'll say test and, and the test works. So now we know our jQuery works. Maybe, you know, we might add a check to say if, I mean, we don't even need to add the check to see if it's empty because if we pass an empty name to the back end here, uh, it will return an error and we handle the error. So one last thing is um, we'll do ID status text, we'll just call it that, and that will be empty, and what we're trying to do with that is um, essentially if anything goes wrong or, or success, it's successful, we'll change the HTML inside of it so that it, it says, oh, like to return, to actually say the message. So this is what you, the, the part, part you actually care about here is the post request. So now that we have jQuery, I'm just going to copy this right from uh, W3Schools, paste it here. Uh, fix your indentation. I hate how the internet. I do. I do tabs when it comes to uh, Sublime and PHP, but I guess I do spaces when. Anyways, so name. I guess it would technically be Donald Duck in this case. Um, Okay, so what, one thing I'm just going to do is instead of, I'm just going to do a console log instead of actually returning, so we'll just say data and console log dot status just to show the status as well. 
help if I escape the quotations, and then name is not going to be Donald Duck. Um, name here would be the one we have, and demo is not the right thing. This could be two things. This could be your HTTP localhost port 9000 slash users dot PHP, or you can also be um, dot PHP like that. I recommend doing this actually. Uh, I don't know what to do with the spacing here. Let's say that. Okay, and so we'll now head back over to our page, refresh, type in test. We're going to inspect the page here. I just right click. You can also go under Window, I think, Developer Tools or something like that. Um, I'm going to hit Create New User. Okay, so 404 not found. That's true because our, it's a slash in there. Slash Ajax. And I'm just going to switch back over, refresh the page, hit Test 2, hit Create. Okay, so as you can see, um, data contains our um, information here. Um, what we want to do here is um, that's returning a um, JSON string. It's just returning a string, but in JSON, it's a, a string in J and has JSON in it. So what we need to do is, I think it's a JSON parse we want. So we'll just call res the, as the response, and that changes to be data. So I think it's uh, JSON.parse, if I remember correctly. I could be completely wrong about that. Let's see if this now turns this into an, a proper JavaScript object. So test three. Okay, it does. So now this is a proper JavaScript object, so you could just do, um, well, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do. Uh, with our status text, essentially, either way, if it's successful or unsuccessful, it doesn't matter. So we just say, you know, if you care, you could do um, data.success, and if that is true, it goes into the statement, but that doesn't really matter with us. So we can do um, the ID, the HTML ID of status text, and we can say dot HTML, and we can say data dot message. And technically, this should update the the paragraph tags to include our message after the action is complete. And we can do one more thing here. We could say this text box. Let's reset it to be empty. But let's only do that if this is successful. So data dot success. So, an example of this, let's start by um, the fail case. We'll start by refreshing the page, but then the fail case. So, error, no name. Um, I mean, it, it, it didn't refresh the text box because it was unsuccessful, but I mean, put test, and it's a created test. And so, that's how you do a post request with jQuery, uh, Ajax, jQuery, and PHP. And if it was um, a node backend, and you, you, it wouldn't matter because you're just passing data um, as a, a post request to an HTTP post request to the backend. The other options I guess was uh, here could be a, a get request. And nothing much would change. Um, I don't know if this would work actually. Let's try. Refresh the page here. Test. Yeah, so it's coming in no name. Um, because a get request is based on the URL. And so, um, and sorry, this is making a post as well. Um, if you take a look at your um, file here, uh, that's post and this is get. Uh, it doesn't contain the second set of parameters. So if you refresh the page and you tried test, it will come in no name. I think you can potentially do params. I mean, you can do that in node. Okay. But you can still pass the query parameters in as, um, as you can see here with the same way. As long as you just change this to be get, it works fine. And so that's how you do a post request and a get request using Ajax with PHP as the backend and jQuery um, to help to help perform the Ajax request. One thing I actually realized I should mention before, um, you might have some issues with, uh, if you're trying to do, uh, out, like, if I wasn't paying local host, I was paying some, like, some other website, um, uh, you might have an issue with that. There's a course issue that Google Chrome stops you from doing that. Um, solution to that would be you would make that same request using a curl request in the PHP here, and then you would just return. So from Ajax, you call your backend, right? Your PHP backend, and your PHP backend would call the third party. That's just the other option you can go with. 
um, because you might run into that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, and I come out with a new video actually every single Wednesday. So.